Am I audible, guys? Now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, so we'll start aromatic hydrocarbon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, in aromatic hydrocarbon, like we study preparations and properties for benzene. Let me write few aromatic hydrocarbons. Benzene, then we have toluene. Naphthalene. Still right. Then uh, this is styrene. Then we have cumin, a very special compound. Cumin is actually used to prepare phenol. Then we have xylene. And uh, xylene, in xylene we have orthoxylene. We have... Uh, Metaxylene. We have Paraxylene. Then uh, Naphthalene. We have anthracene, we have phenanthrene, do you copy all these uh, aromatic hydrocarbons? We have done Many of them, name-wise, uh, in IUPAC nomenclature, uh, we did, uh, you know, resonance stabilization or what is resonance energy for uh, these compounds, like uh, for benzene, uh, the value is 36. Uh, for naphthalene, it is 61, around 61. If I write biphenyl, for this, uh, the value, resonance energy about, uh, you know, 72 kilocalorie per mole. Anthracene, uh, about uh, 84 kilocalorie per mole and phenanthrene 92 uh, kilocalorie per mole. Copy these. Um, so, what is the first compound on the bottom now? Phenanthrene, brother. So, what's the difference between that and anthracene? Anthracene, if you see all the three, you know, uh, benzene rings in this manner. Connectivity, if you see, this one and this one. Here, the connectivity is here. You see? Okay, yes, sir. Done, sir. Mm. Done, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now I'll start preparation methods. 
in uh, preparation method you write number one from carbenzoic acid from benzoic acid although i'm writing benzoic acid but it is actually sodium or potassium salt of benzoic acid if you recall we did one reaction in uh, alkane preparation that was soda lime decarboxylation so same i am going to use yes. This is soda lime decarboxylation for preparation of benzoic acid. Done? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, All right, sir. number two. Uh, from aryl halides. Although I have written here aryl halide, but uh, we have to take uh, halobenzene because we, we are going to prepare benzene, right? Uh, like if I take uh, this, you put Mg, right? The raw THF as a sol solvent, then you get uh, Grignard reagent. This is. Grignard reagent. Yes, RMGX. Yes, and we know Grignard reagent can behave as a, as a base. And if if you if you take any compound having acidic hydrogen, like even H2O or C2H5OH, or you can say terminal alkyne, in all cases, this this uh, acidic H this will be abstracted by the basic part of C, uh, this Grignard reagent that C6H5 minus. And this way we'll get C6H6, and that is nothing but benzene. The main part, if you want, you can write like in first case MgBrOH, right? This is our benzene. Done, sir. Done. Yes, sir. Now another preparation method you can write uh, from benzene sulfonic acid. Actually, in today's lecture only, we, we are going to study sulfonation of benzene. We have done this in reaction mechanism also. Uh, this is actually desulfonation. Desulfonation. So what happens when uh, we take benzene sulfonic acid? This is the formula of benzene sulfonic acid. When benzene sulfonic acid is heated with steam, steam or, or, or even dilute HCl, acidic is required, dilute HCl, then you get simply benzene plus H2SO4. If you see, the reverse reaction is actually sulfonation of benzene, right? So if you put, uh, you know, this benzene sulfonic acid, uh, if, if you add uh, dilute HCl or uh, you pass steam, that benzene sulfonic acid gets converted into benzene. The reaction takes place um, at about 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. That also you can measure.
I'm done, sir. Mm. Yes, sir, done. Yeah. Next preparation method is also very easy and simple, and is important from your J advanced exam point of view. Uh, it is actually from Finon. From Finon. Uh, officially, if I say, then uh, I'll say uh, phenol on distillation with zinc dust. Phenol on distillation with zinc dust gives benzene. Okay. But you need to keep in mind what is phenol OH directly connected to benzene ring. So for question solving uh, purpose, you need to remember this that when OH is connected to benzene ring, and uh, that means phenol, if we put zinc dust, then that O will be removed from that phenol part. It does not matter whether you have one OH or two OH, oxygen will get removed, or you say OH will get replaced by H. So I'm writing here zinc dust, that becomes benzene, and zinc Then yes, sir. Now I am going to discuss a very, very special, you know, I will say intermediate. And that intermediate will not help you only in uh, this benzene preparation. Almost all aromatic compounds can be prepared using that. So, uh, I can write here like from nitrobenzene or I'll say aniline. The formula of aniline is this, NH2 connected with benzene. The formula of nitrobenzene is NO2 connected with benzene. Now, this uh, actually, we need uh, this aniline, but even I can start from nitrobenzene. So, first, this nitrobenzene will be converted into aniline. How? We need a reducing agent. You see, NO2 is getting reduced into NH2. So, we need what? Reducing agent. And a very popular reducing agent for, uh, you know, nitro, for the reduction of nitro group, uh, especially aromatic nitro groups. That is metal in HCl, SN in HCl, or even Fe in HCl. That NO2 will get reduced into NH2. Now, the time to discuss that important intermediate, which is obtained by reacting this aniline with NaNO2 plus HCl. I can take NaNO2 plus H2SO4. I can take even HNO2. HNO. So that special intermediate is obtained N2 plus L minus. If I take NNO2 plus H2SO4, we'll get N2 plus HSO4 minus. Okay, this we call as benzene disonium salt. Benzene diazonium salt, a very, very important intermediate. Although this is little unstable, so freshly prepared solution is always used. Okay, I'll talk about those aromatic uh, diazonium also, but those are actually unstable. So 
uh, we we uh, unfortunately it is not possible to use that those intermediate because they are unstable while benzene diazonium salt is little stable uh, temperature 0 to 5 degrees celsius low temperature okay now uh, preparation of benzene is very easy i'll uh, put h3 po2 h3 po2 uh, will undergo self oxidation And uh, this benzene diazonium salt will get converted into benzene. Simple reduction. Uh, plus, I can take, uh, I can write it here. Uh, we can also use here C2H5OH. CS3CH2OH. That CS3CH2OH will get oxidized into acetaldehyde. If you recall, once I told you that Guru Mantra, uh, left to right, right to left, oxidation reduction, yes, na names of chapters, right? So, since yes, thiol alcohol is acting as a reducing agent here, so thiol alcohol will undergo self oxidation. Right? Its oxidized product will be CS3CHO, that is acetaldehyde. But the objective was uh, preparation of benzene, so we have prepared benzene. That is one point. That is one part. Now, I was telling you the importance of benzene diazonium chloride. Benzene diazonium chloride is so important that almost all aromatic compounds can be prepared using benzene diazonium salt. Benzene diazonium uh, salt actually shows two types of reactions. One we call as substitution. Substitution reaction, where N2 will get replaced by, you know, something. Uh, another is coupling reaction. Coupling reaction, substitution reaction, coupling reaction. Substitution reaction, if I give you an example, this is uh, diazonium salt. And if I react with CuCl, we get Cl, N2, that is replaced. This is Sandmeyer reaction. I'll discuss all these reactions in chapter aryl halide. You can see the product is aryl halide. But uh, because uh, this is very important, you can write these reactions again and again, right? Uh, similarly, if you take Cu in HCl, again you will get uh, Cl, and this reaction we call as Gatterman reaction. Gatterman. The uh, previous one is Sandmeyer. Uh, like if you uh, want. Uh, you know, uh, Br, then you can take CuBr or CuNHPr. Uh, H3PO2 plus H2, already I told you ki benzene will be formed. Right. Similarly, um, Ki if you use, then I will be formed. Right. So, so many reactions you can write. Uh, there is one more reaction, as I told you, one more type word, coupling reaction. So, when this uh, benzene diazonium chloride is reacted with phenol, a special type uh, of, you know, process takes place where it will remain, uh, it's both nitrogen atoms and we get this compound. This is coupling product. This is coupling product. I'll talk about all these reactions in chapter alkyl and aryl halides, but up to Kelly, you write this. Both important compound debitor. Benzene diazonium chloride. Unfortunately, uh, that uh, RN2 plus is unstable. R is alkyl. RN2 plus is unstable, and mostly that RN2Cl gets converted into ROH. Those, that reaction also will discuss in alkyl aryl halides. So, the kill is copy
how I've done so. You can copy this also. And so on the left is the coupling product and on the right is the substitution, right? Yes. If if you add H two or not here, then you'll get phenol. This will do in you know phenol preparation. Done so. Yes, sir. Mm. Now you write another preparation method. Uh, you write by cyclic trimerization of acetylene. And if you recall, we have done this in uh, uh, alkyne chapter. Yes, sir. Uh, I think we did it in the last class as well. Yes. <clears throat> we can also use NiCN2 C6H5 whole thrice P in ether. Yes, sir, triphenyl phosphine. Yes. Done so. Yes, sir. So next you write Dalzelda reaction. Ye bhi humne kiya hai perhaps last lecture. Yes, sir. Ya reaction mechanism mein bhi kiya hua. So uh, we are going to use this reaction uh, because the, uh, the product of this reaction is not benzene. We'll do dehydrogenation of the product. So in this case, what happens when you take alkadiene, conjugated alkadiene, and you take alkene, dienophile, then uh, it, it, it cyclohexyl uh, hexene. Hmm. Cyclohexene is the product. Here the product is cyclohexene. Uh, we are already aware of all the points that if you take cis alkene, the product is going to be uh, cis. If you take trans alkene, the product is going to be 
trance, all those things we are aware of. Uh, that uh, L-cardine, this must be in cissoid form. If it is in transoid form, reaction won't take place. You all are aware of this? Yes, sir. Now, the product which uh, we have got, that dehydrogenation, uh, sorry, dehydrogenation is required. Dehydrogenation means removal of what? Sir, uh, hydrogen, sir. Removal of hydrogen. So when this is heated, When this is heated, let me write this. When this is heated with selenium or sulfur or even uh, palladium, then dehydrogenation takes place. And this way we get then copy this also. Um, so, what have you written over there next to delta, um, S1 delta? Not S1, SE, selenium. Oh, okay. And so then it's silicon delta, right? No, no. selenium, then sulfur. Okay. Sir. Done, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, done. Transferred form is not used, huh? Now, next preparation method you can write uh, by aromatization of hexane. Uh, we take uh, like normal hexane, CH3, CH2, 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 CH2 CS3. Uh, when normal hexane at about pressure 20 atm heated uh, at about 500 to 600 degrees Celsius, With a mixture of uh, different oxides are there, like Cr2O3, MO2O3, over alumina. So I can write Cr2O3 dash Al2O3. So dehydrogenation takes place. We get benzene. Copy this.
done, sir. And so one minute. Hmm. Um, sir, it's Cr2O3 and Al2O3, right? Yes. Done, sir. Write a small question. I'm saying the arrow between A and B is that supposed to be carbon? Uh, yes, but A to B that that is actually carbon. Should I discuss? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, it's just that, that A to B stuff is just confusing. Yes, sir. Um. See, uh, first part is simply, you know, CAO. Uh, decom decomposition. Yes. You get calcium oxide plus CO. Uh, CO plus carbon, this actually you get CaC2 plus CO, calcium carbide, and I told you hydrolysis of four carbides, beryllium carbide gives methane, aluminum carbide gives you methane, calcium carbide gives you acetylene, magnesium carbide gives you propyne. So what product will you get here, beta? Acetylene, Acetylene. Right? Acetylene. Yes, sir, that much uh, I could guess because uh, it's CO plus 700 degrees Celsius. Yes. Yeah, uh, that would benzene. give uh, benzene. Benzene. Right. Yeah. I have done so. Yes, sir.
so we have completed that preparation part now we'll move to properties part uh physical properties you can write some of the points of in case physical properties first of all it is a colorless liquid benzene is a colorless liquid uh, boiling point about 80 degree celsius uh, melting point about 5.4 degree celsius and uh, uh, can be considered as you know uh, organic solvent yes sir so uh, these properties benzene. for all aromatic compounds such as benzene i'm talking about benzene or in general manner you can say aromatic hydrocarbon not aromatic compounds yes sir okay organic solvent or even it is sol soluble in organic solvents other so organic solvents like ether you can take um mm, uh, acetone less polarity solvent or non polar solvent okay uh that's it you can write this now i'll talk about chemical properties one of the aromatic hydrocarbons that that is uh, naphthene you need to check your notes of general organic chemistry there i talked about the difference between um, uh, naphthene and its isomer azulene azulene is colored azulene is uh, having dipole moment uh, while uh, the naphthene is colorless uh, zero dipole moment all those characteristics you can check from general organic chemistry Done, sir. Can I remove this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Chemical properties. If you see, uh. Uh, we we had already talked about uh, chemical properties of benzene if you see benzene has got high pi electron density just like alkene high pi electron density so attacking reagent must be what uh. electron seeker or donor electron seeker so electrophile yes electron seeker and in science electron seeker we call as electrophile, electrophile. so only an electrophile will say uh, at, can attack this benzene just like alkene but the difference is this benzene cannot undergo you know addition reaction when undergoes addition reaction that uh, aromaticity will be lost <laughs> so rather than addition it undergoes what kind of reaction uh, a nucleophilic sub uh, electrophilic substitution yes yeah, substitution and since electrophile is attacking that is why overall we say electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction electrophilic electrophilic aromatic substitution
and Lanta. Yes, sir. If you recall, even in uh, reaction mechanism, we did five important reactions of benzene. Here also, I'm going to do that. I'm going to discuss that, but uh, in detail. Let me introduce those five reactions. Benzene. Benzene, when reacted with halogen, that halogen generally chlorine or bromine. Yeah, in the presence of Lewis acid, like AlCl3 or uh, FeCl3 or Fe or BF3, these are the Lewis acid. Substitution takes place. We call this as halogenation. Halogenation of benzene. Then uh, Next, you can write here reaction with HNO3. You can take concentrate HNO3 alone, or you can take HNO3 plus H2SO4, concentrate H2SO4. In this case, NO2 will get substituted, uh, H will get substituted by uh, NO2. So this we call as nitration. This we call as nitration. I'll discuss mechanism here. Nitration of benzene. Then if I write here concentrated H2SO4 or H2S2O7, then in this case, SO3H will be connected with benzene. This we call as sulfonation of benzene. And then a very, very important reaction, uh, friedel craft is alkylation. For that, we use generally alkyl halide along with the Lewis acid, or we can take alkene. Uh, uh, the concept is any compound which is capable of giving, uh, you know, carbocation will give this friedel craft alkylation with benzene. Or even you can take alcohol. Alcohol. Here you can take Lewis acid or proton acid. You will get a coupling product. No, no, no. R will get connected. You can call that as coupling, no issues, but uh, this is Friedel Craft alkylation. I'll discuss the mechanism of the reaction. R plus is going to attack benzene ring and the simple electrophilic aromatic substitution. Now, another reaction instead of RCl, if you take RCOCl, acid derivative, another acid derivative which you can take here for the same product formation and hydride, or even uh, you can take carboxylic acid with proton acid. Then what happens, instead of R, COR will be connected. This we call as friedel craft acylation. This is friedel crafts acylation. Now, product is aromatic keto. Copy this, Buddha. Um, so, what is proton acid? What did you say, Vita? Um, sir, what is uh, in the top arrow, RCOOH slash proton acid? Yes, proton acid. Proton acid is just a H plus, right? 
it can be hf like okay sir. Done, sir. So one minute, sir. And so, what is the top left reaction called? Edel Crafts acylation. Okay. A C Y E L A T I U N. That is actually a acyl group gets connected. This R C O is called a acyl group. Oh, okay, sir. This R is called alkyl alkyl group. That is why the reaction is alkylation. R C O is acyl group. That is why reaction is acylation. Yes, sir. Understood. I'm done, sir. Guys, if you see in all these reactions, actually, the group which is connected with benzene. And the compound which we are adding as an electrophile, the two are not exactly same. Like uh, we have added X2, but in uh, product side, if you see uh, on product side, X is connected with benzene. So in all these five reactions, the first stage is going to be generation of electrophile. In the first stage, electrophile will be generated and that electrophile, that generated electrophile will attack benzene ring stage 2. Okay, so let me give you mechanism of stage 2 first. And then one by one, I'll discuss all these reactions. So first, I'll tell you about the general mechanism when electrophile attacks benzene ring. Like if, if uh, benzene ring plus electrophile. The first step of the reaction, step one, this is simply benzene ring. I'll take one of the resonating structures for the reaction. E plus, E plus is an electrophile, is going to attack benzene ring. Pi electron will shift accordingly. Pi electrons will shift in that direction where the electrophile is attacking. This is electromeric shifting. you will get this as your intermediate. This is your intermediate, which we call as sigma complex. This is sigma complex, or we also call this as erinium ion. Erinium ion, or we also call this as valent intermediate. These are just names. Now, we need to prove that this intermediate is stable if the reaction is taking place. How will you prove this resonance stabilization? You can clearly see that the plus single double plus is in resonance. You can write resonating structure like this. So if you want, you can write resonance hybrid. Resonance hybrid like this. Okay, now step two. Actually, if you see step one is what? Step one is um, addition, addition of electrophile uh, uh, with benzene ring. 
addition step that uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution is not taking place uh, in in one step it is taking place in two steps first step is addition step and step two is elimination step because uh, here you can see aromaticity is not there no? so to restore aromaticity a base will come into picture the, the system must be having a base i'll uh, show in different cases like halogenation nitration i will show you uh, the presence of base there so the base whatever base present in the system will abstract this edge and this edge will give its bond pair as a result you get benzene ring back so this is simply what step elimination step elimination step overall you see overall you see the reaction is substitution electrophilic aromatic substitution but it is actually addition dash elimination any confusion madam no sir no now if you draw a graph energy versus reaction progress graph just so there will be two bumps hmm. here if i write like benzene ring plus e plus i'll show you like this then there is intermediate and then there is product product simply we know electrophile is connected here the intermediate is here which you can show like this then here this is transition state 1 this is transition state 2 transition state 1 is what if you see in transition state 1 uh, that uh, that that ch bond uh, is 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 uh, you know fully uh, full 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 bond like if i show in this manner because the ce bond is you know ce bond will be partially formed this is fully formed bond here and you can see like uh, you know uh, this this bond is broken na? so it is partially broken bond and in the partial manner you can show delta positive here are you getting my point so yes sir and you can show delta positive here also actually if you see that e ka positive is uh, shifting to carbon right so this way that is why you are showing delta positive here as well as delta positive here this is transition state 1 what is transition state 2 in transition state 2 if you see that uh, uh, ce bond will be fully uh, you know formed ch bond will be partially broken this time partially broken partially broken this time this bond will be partially formed bond is it clear bada yes sir so you can show transition state one here transition state uh, to here like this like this now in the in the exam if they give you you know uh, five uh, species 1 1 2 3 4 ask you uh, you know which one is having highest uh, you know enthalpy uh, so so uh, what will be your answer so transition state one yes simple right so you can easily predict things if they is done this graph copy this button
Um, so the name is Aranyam Iron, right? Aranyam Iron. Done so. Yeah, change page. Yes, yeah, sir. Acha, one more thing you can write, Buta, because uh, you can see the P keys for uh, transition state one. This is actually RDS. Mention this also. RDS means rate. Ah, uh, the slowest step. Yes, rate the minus step. And then you go. Ah, uh, it's the uh, RDS because it's the slowest because the transition uh, transition state uh, until is the highest, right? Yes. Done, sir. In so one minute. Mm -hmm. Done so. Mm. Now, write halogenation of benzene. Halogenation of things. As I told you, all the reactions uh, take place in two stages. Stage one is generation of electrophile. In stage one, electrophile is generated, is formed. Like in this particular case, uh, halogenation, uh, if I take Cl2 as example and uh, AlCl3 as our Lewis acid, then this uh, AlCl3, because AlCl3 is a Lewis acid. So it will form uh, Cl minus and AlCl4. Yes. 
will be like you can write in this manner or you can write in this manner now you can see electrophile is there right electrophile is there that electrophile will attack benzene in stage 2 and i have already told you the mechanism of stage 2 that is taking place in two steps benzene will get attacked by electrophile like cl plus in this case pi electrons will shift that way now you can write all resonating structures to show that intermediate stable so reaction will take place step 2 as reaction. i told you a base will be there in the system if you see carefully you will notice alcl4 minus there alcl4 minus will abstract this edge bond pair will be given to this carbon plus simply you can write product chlorobenzene ALCl3 plus HCl. ALCl3 was a catalyst, so that is why uh, uh, in the last step it will leave the system, and this way halogenation takes place. Okay. Now, Sir, done, sir. You so saw one minute, sir. Done. Yes, sir. Hmm. You write two important notes here, Buddha. Note number one, you write. F two reacts with benzene very fast. So could you repeat? F two reacts with benzene very fast. that fluorine is highly reactive no? so it is difficult to limit the reaction to monofluorination it is difficult to limit the reaction to monofluorination hey right. there are other methods but we avoid direct fluorination of benzene we avoid direct fluorination of benzene if you recall i told you that a very special intermediate benzene diazonium ion when reacted with hbf4 chloroboric acid uh, if if you recall i told you that diazonium we using diazonium salt you can prepare almost all aromatic compounds same way fluorobenzene can be prepared using these two i'm sorry Even Can you repeat after monofluorination for the note? It is difficult to limit the reaction to monofluorination, so direct fluorination is avoided. Yes, sir. then even benzene is reacted with xcf2 or agf2 there also monofluorination is possible
Did I give you another note? So can you repeat what your last sentence? I said that monofluorination can be uh, carried out uh, by reacting benzene with XCF2 or AGF2 also. But not using F2. Um, so with, uh, can you repeat, monofluorination can be XCF2, carried out with? Xenon, Xenon, XCF2. XCF2 and? XEF2 and AGF2. A G silver A G F two. Okay. And then so there's the H B F four reaction also. Yes, and this is very important. This one is very important. Should I erase this? Should I yes, sir. Yes, sir. Note to you, right? Uh, I2 is almost unreactive to benzene. I2 is almost unreactive to benzene. Unreactive to benzene. But the reaction can be carried out. The reaction is possible actually in the presence of oxidizing agent. Can you recall similar note I gave during the iodination of alkane? HNO3, yes, HIO3, HGO. If the reaction is carried out with oxidizing agent, HIO3, HNO3, HGO. Done? Yes, yes, sir. Now you're at number two. Nitration of benzene. Nitration of benzene. <clears throat> As I told you, that reaction takes place in two stages. Two stages. Uh, one is preparation of uh, electrophile. Yes. <clears throat> in nitration, actually, we are using HNO3 with the H2SO4. H2SO4 says I'm a better proton donor. It will donate proton to HNO3. Uh, there are different sites here, but uh, that proton when given to oxygen, this H2O will leave and this way NO2 plus is generated, which is the electrophile for our reaction. So stage two will come into picture. Stage two, there are two steps. Step one, attack of NO2 plus. You can write all resonating structures. Then step two. Uh, base attack uh, uh, yeah. 
and this way you get final product that is nitrobenzene. This edge gets connected with this one. Main product is this one only. You copy this also. Um, so in uh, stage one, the H plus from H two S O is attacking the oxygen, right? What did you say, brother? I'm um, so in uh, stage in stage one, the H plus from H two S O is attacking the oxygen, right? Yes, yes. Um, sir, uh, are you saying something because I can't hear you? Yes, good. Uh, yes, sir, what I asked was um, in stage one. Uh, yes, I said was... yes, good. Yes. Okay, sir. Just uh, my yes, net was just lagging. Oxygen. Yes, sir, my net was lagging. Mm -hmm. I'm done, so Yes, I'm done. Done. Yeah. Let me give you one question. Yes. You write your answer in chat box.
Very good, Aradita. Are you writing any answer, uh, Shiv? Yes, sir. Very good. How did he get the answer? Can you explain? Um, sir, uh, sir, uh, the the determining step um, is the addition of the electrophile uh, in which the uh, bond doesn't matter between yes, the Yes, the H bond or... between the H or the deuterium. Yes. Deuterium doesn't get broken. It's the so. second step uh, in which it wouldn't matter, but it's uh, the second step is not de determined. Yes. yes so since there's no um, difference in RDS. Fantastic, so... fantastic, fantastic. So, concept uh, is actually, and that you can write as heading also here, primary kinetic isotope effect. Yes, we did this in uh, reaction mechanism. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you can clearly write that uh, the explanation which I, you have given to me, you can write that, that rate determining a step is step one of stage two, where CH or CD bonds are not broken. Not broken. Until and unless isotopic bonds are broken in RDS, rate will not be, you know, affected. That is why we are writing R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3. Write this. Until this question talks about secondary isotope effect, we will consider isotope effect. Effect means primary kinetic isotope effect. Okay? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. And done, so. Yes, you write, but an exceptional case. This you have written in a general manner. Now there are exceptional cases also. You write, the answer will be R1 greater than R2 greater than R3, a normal student will think in this, in this way only because the person will say that CH bond is weaker than CD, so it's easy to break CH bonds, so rate of C6H6 should be greater. But it is not the fact because RDS decides rate. Okay. And in all the cases, RDS, in RDS, that CH, CD, CT bond is not broken. That is why we have written answer R1 equal to R2 equal to R3. What happens? Uh, there are two exceptional cases, iodination and sulfonation. These are the two cases where rate order will be this. We'll discuss why later. But you just write here as an exception. Um, so uh, here, uh, the electrophile is uh, NO2. So, uh, so this exceptional case won't apply, right? I repeat, there are five reactions in a general way. Yes, yeah, sir. Right? Halogenation. Nitration, sulfonation, friedel craft alkylation, friedel craft acylation. I have said exception as iodination and sulfonation. That's it. You have okay, to decide sir, first it. whether this reaction is halogenation or nitration or something else. Yes, sir.
Did I change the page? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> now you write sulfonation of benzene. Sulfonation of benzene. Again, as you know, stage one. Oleum, if you take na, H2S2O7, it's a mixture of H2SO4 and SO3. SO3 is actually our electrophile here. SO3 is our electrophile. So that is going to attack benzene ring. Let me show you something here. When, uh, you know, pi uh, electrons shift in this manner uh, in benzene, the, the, this side becomes nucleophile, nucleophilic side. This attacks sulfur and sulfur uh, as double mondo pi electrons shift towards oxygen. This way, positive charge comes here. This becomes SO3 minus H here. Okay, now you can show resonating structures. Step two. Same procedure. Base will come. Base will abstract this H. Sigma electrons. SO3 minus, and then we need protonation here. And this way, SO3H is formed. What we call this as benzene sulfonic acid. If you see overall, it is reversible. And during the preparation of benzene, we did what? Desulfonation of benzene sulfonic acid. So, yes, forward reaction is sulfonation of benzene. Backward reaction is desulfonation of benzene. Copy this. Uh, for electrophile, they can give you SO3 or they can give you SO3H+. plus, Right? You must write this point out after the completion of this. All steps are in equilibrium. Hence, overall reaction is also in equilibrium and backward reaction is desulfonation. Um, so can you repeat the statement you just said? Yes, uh, I said all steps are in equilibrium. Hence, overall reaction is also in equilibrium. Backward reaction is desulfonation. Can I change page? And so one second, sir. And so what is on the last equilibrium arrow you've written proton protonation beta. protonation oh.
done so yes sir done now two more reactions i'll give you mechanism you write friedel crafts alkylation Friedel crafts alkylation Friedel crafts alkylation uh friedel craft acylation friedel craft alkylation both reactions are very very important i'll give you many important uh, notes many important points uh, from your advanced exam point of view but in the next lecture today i'm going to discuss only mechanism simple basic mechanism stage 1 Page one generation of electrophile. If they give you like uh, RCl and Lewis acid, you can simply uh, write RCl plus AlCl3 minus, or you can write R plus plus AlCl3 AlCl4 minus. What happens many times? Our uh, carbocation is unstable, so this this will directly supply. you know r plus electrophile to that benzene ring rather than first giving r plus and r plus attacks benzene ring okay so this is one way uh, similarly if, if if they give you alkene and a proton acid like s3po4 is given s3po4 will you know uh, supply h plus h plus attacks that uh, carbon of double bond whose neighbor gives stable carbocation so you will get carbocation similarly you can take alcohol alcohol for example a proton acid or even lewis acid given right h plus what will you do protonation of alcohol then here also carbocation so all those substances which are capable of giving carbocation can be used for stage 1 of friedel crafts alkylation is my point clear beta yes sir. yes sir and that carbocation can undergo what uh recall whenever carbocation forms it undergoes uh, what it make it three forms rearrangement uh, rearrangement use Re yes a rearrangement so that you need to keep in mind during the you know solving of the problems whether uh, rearrangement is possible or not because only after rearrangement you will allow r plus to attack benzene ring is that is alcl4 minus here will abstract it and at the end r will be connected i can write alcl3 plus hcl for example i am using this one so this is alkylation copy this also beta then beta and so one second sir done so yes sir now now you read the last reaction last mechanism a simple reaction stage 1 if you are using like rcl in the same manner as you have written r plus here it will be rco plus 
ALCL3 will abstract this. You can write RCO plus plus ALCL4 minus. Please note here there is no rearrangement. Carbocation is with on double bonded carbon. At the same time, there is back bonding resonance of oxygen. Can you see? Yes, sir. Even uh, that acid anhydride can be used here. And then also you'll get RCO plus. Even RCOH will give you RCO plus uh, if proton acid is added. Stage two. RCO plus attacks benzene ring in the same manner as R plus did. Like here, pi electrons will shift. You can easily write carbocation like this. Irenium and basically, and then base will abstract that elimination part. Base here, you can again take ALCL4 minus. Any confusion, you please ask. You get aromatic ketone. Like if you have used uh, to, uh, selected ALCL4 minus, then ALCL3 and HCL. This is aromatic. I will give you important points for Friedel craft alkylation and Friedel craft acylation. In, in the next lecture, you just copy this part. Um, so it's ALCL4 minus, right? Yes. Done, sir. Done. Okay. So one minute, sir. If you have copied, but then you can take rest. Next lecture, we will start from here only. Advanced discussion of specially Friedel craft alkylation and acylation, and then I'll tell you about uh, the the primary kinetic isotope effect of sulfur. Yes, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Done, sir. Okay. Bye, sir. Bye.